So now we're gonna start up. You and you are gonna come with me quick to get our testing done, blast motion and video. All of you guys are gonna start your drills. And then I'm gonna jump in here afterwards and start working on stuff. I went through all your videos last week from last time you were here. A lot of you are in a similar bucket. You, you a little bit, you, I already talked to you, and you a little bit less, but definitely you three. You wanna go right away so you're really tall, you go forward, and you swing everything's out here over your front leg. When you get ready to hit, before you go anywhere, you've gotta get yourself two things. One, your hips should feel like they're gonna close and coil a little bit like this. Can everyone see that move? So when I get loaded, I'm gonna load my lower body, little bit of a coil, and what happens with my upper body? See how I get the same little bit of a coil with my upper body? When I pick this foot up and I'm here, I should feel like I'm strong around this leg. Did everyone see this? Watch this. I load, I pick up. Did everyone see that? Now watch what I see from a lot of you guys. This isn't just you guys, there's a lot of young guys. A lot of you guys are like this. You're here, you pick up, you fall forward. Everyone see that? What else happens? Watch my body. When I get loaded, where did my butt go? Watch. Where'd it go? Out, right? See how it goes out a little bit? So if you're, most players are like this and pick up, guess where they fall? Forward. You've got to feel strong, like you're, I say, screw down into the ground. Screw into the ground. See how now I can control that stride? So that's what almost all three of you have to work on, and you too a little bit. I talked to you about that last week. You get jumpy a little bit forward. Cool? So we're gonna do a bunch of stuff today to work on that for you guys. I need to see you two swing. You already know what you gotta keep working on. Sound good? Any questions? All right, so we're gonna get into it now and then we'll go from there. Stay sideways as you stride out. Good. Again, sideways as you move out, stay closed. Yes. Sideways. Yes, very nice. Good job today. Two big things. I know one just hit on it a second ago. But when you guys are hitting, one, I'd rather have you ready a little bit earlier or a little bit early than late. Because if you're late, you have no chance of getting your best swing off. If you're early, you can hold on to it. You can hold on to your load just a little bit longer. That makes sense? Right? So I'd rather you learn how to be in early, especially off the machine. But anytime you hit, no matter the drill, Get ready a little bit earlier than you think. Make sure you're getting that good hitting spot, like we said. Lower body loaded, upper body ready to hit, coiled up, knob facing somewhere near the catcher's feet. That was the first thing. The second thing is, if you take a swing, some guys hit two, three, four balls, didn't hit them great, and it would be like, you hit the ball bad, you get all mad, you get in there, you hit the ball bad, you get all mad, you hit, I saw you swing the bat a couple times, right? If you're getting upset because something's going on, it's okay to step out for a second, take a deep breath, think about what you're trying to do, right? So what did I tell you? I said, think about hitting a ball over the second baseman's head. And then whack, you hit a ball over the second baseman's head. Then the next five balls, you were inside it, driving it all over the place. All right, so just take a second. If you keep getting upset, it's hard to kind of like reset yourself. And you're probably just gonna have a poor round and then you're gonna have to leave and then wait. So in the middle of the round, just step out, deep breath, Think about what I'm trying to do, get back in, and go. Alright. Yeah, inside it. Inside it. Better. Same thing, feel the deep turn. Go ahead. Good. Driving this ball to right center. Oh, very nice. Try to stay over the plate. Good. Yeah, tough bit. Uh-huh. He did a really good job. Yeah. A couple swings early on. He was getting kind of down at the ball. Yep. And he was struggling to get the ball up to right field. And then I told him, I said, let's try and get that pad coming a little bit more up. Right? We're punching our top hand at the pitcher. We started driving the ball right So it was a really good adjustment to jump. That was sweet. That's a tough drill, too. Yeah, big part of the field. Nice. That's why I reemphasize 
like, especially against the machine, back half of an hour, again, swinging and missing is okay. Something that moves off the tee, flips, like these easier rounds where things are slower, try to incorporate those things against the machine. The machine's gonna be hard. How many guys swung and missed on the machine? Everybody should raise their hand because everybody's swung and missed, right? It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, but it's okay. It's still what, October? Okay, it's okay. Try to incorporate everything that you're doing, real work, chill work, flip work, into here, swing and miss are gonna happen. But are your intentions good? Are you trying to bring what we're trying to learn into here? Eventually, over time, we'll start making a lot harder contact against the machine. But the machine's meant to be hard. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how good your swing is, right? This is supposed to be hard in here, right? So swing and miss or bad contact is gonna happen. But try to make sure your intentions are always good. Uh, kind of like what Coach Matt said right there. Through failure, like can you take a breath and understand that the next one's the most important. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former Major League player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.